It's Major Ryan Miller from the 5.5th Expeditionary Military Intelligence Brigade, and November is Native American Heritage Month. 25 Native Americans have received the nation's highest military medal, the Medal of Honor. And each week, we're going to talk about one of these Medal of Honor recipients. Mitchell Red Cloud was born on July 2, 1925, in Hatfield, Wisconsin. A member of the Ho-Chunk Native American tribe, also known as the Winnebagos, he joined the Marine Corps in 1941 and served during World War II. After his discharge in 1945, he joined the Army in 1948, and serving with the 24th Infantry Division, he was deployed to Korea in 1950, after the outbreak of the war. On November 5, 1950, from his position on the point of a ridge immediately in front of the company command post, Corporal Red Cloud was the first to detect the approach of the Chinese Communist forces and give the alarm as the enemy charged from a brush-covered area less than 100 feet from him. Springing up, he delivered devastating point-blank automatic rifle fire into the advancing enemy. His accurate and intense fire checked the assault and gained time for the company to consolidate its defense. With utter fearlessness, he maintained his firing position until severely wounded by enemy fire. Refusing assistance, he pulled himself to his feet and wrapping his arm around a tree continued his deadly fire again. He ordered a soldier near him to tie him upright to the tree, using his belt, and then ordered his men to withdraw and fought until he was fatally wounded. After the members of the battalion retook his position to recover his body, he was surrounded by a large number of dead Chinese troops. In April 1951, Red Cloud's family was awarded the Medal of Honor, and in 1957, Camp Red Cloud, in South Korea was named in his honor. Thank you for watching the channel, and if you or anybody you know is interested in joining the U.S. Army, please go to www.goarmy.com or text BNF7 to 462-769. Thank you very much.